This is the Justice and Mercy Energy Services video on different types of solar radiation. This is video part 1.2, which will be about different types of radiation, the spectral content of that radiation, and what we call standard test conditions. Standard test conditions allow us to compare one type of solar panel against another using those standard test conditions. Imagine the Earth's surface, and on that surface we have a solar panel. And the sun that comes, the sunlight that comes from the sun passes through the atmosphere, and that that directly impacts the solar panel is called direct radiation. Now, an additional component of radiation is that that is scattered off of the Earth's surface, such as mountains or snow. This is called albedo. And a third component of that radiation is the sun's light that scatters off the atmosphere itself dust particles, air molecules, and so forth. And when that reaches the solar panel, we call it diffuse radiation. So the total global radiation is the sum of these three, the direct radiation, the albedo, and the diffuse. The total energy received on that surface is about 5.75 kilowatt hours of energy per square meter in a 24 hour time period. That's the sum of the direct diffuse and albedo. Now the color mixture or the color content or the spectral content of the light that comes from the sun also varies. When it comes out of the sun, the light has all the colors. It's called white light. It has all the wavelengths. And there, at this point, has been no absorption by the atmosphere. So we say that it has been through zero air mass and therefore zero absorption. So we call that AM0 to stand for air mass zero. However, after the sunlight has gone through one thickness of the atmosphere, when it's directly overhead and shining right, right down on us, we say that's one thickness of the atmosphere, then some colors have been absorbed. Some colors have been scattered. And so no longer do we have the same spectrum of colors that came from the sun, but we have something else that's been partially scattered and absorbed. We call that air mass one spectral content. And when the sun is off to the side, which is even more common, then it goes through about approximately 1.5 uh, atmospheres then we call that air mass 1.5 and that brings us to our standard test conditions the spectral content of an air mass 1.5 is the standard mixture of colors that we use when we test um, solar panels and the irradiance is exactly 1000 watts per square meter and the temperature is at 25 degrees C using these three test conditions we can test one panel and compare it to another apples to apples Justice and Mercy Energy Services designs, installs, and maintains solar energy systems in Haiti to combat energy poverty and create jobs. Consider supporting us at our website. Thanks.